My name is Peter Schruder. I'm an architect living in Melbourne, Australia. And today, we're gonna to take you on a tour of this building behind me. It's a building we designed with Deakin University. And I'm gonna show you some of the design ideas behind it. I hope you enjoy it. When the building was finished and revealed, I remember one of the, the comments that I read was, the building looks a bit alien. And I must confess, I smiled a little bit on the inside because to me that felt like we had absolutely nailed the brief. Um, you know, I remember some time ago in my career working on a project at, uh, with another client and we presented the design and explained the rationale and the thinking behind it. And at the end, they just simply said, we don't do that here. Our buildings are sandstone and bluestone and they need to integrate in with all the other buildings. We don't want buildings standing out. And that's fine, each, each, each place to its own. But Deakin was very much wanting to push this idea of diversity, uh, of cutting edge, innovation. And I think if we had come back with something that was just half a step ahead of something that had been done before, I think it would have been an absolute lost opportunity. Um, and, you know, I, we certainly haven't got everything right in the design. There are some angles that at times, depending on the view, might be, might be awkward. But I liked, you know, I, I love car design. And when I look at, you know, some of the most, would be considered some of the most beautiful cars in the world, you'll always find there are these angles or these ways you look at them where they just don't quite sing. But it's worth it for getting those parts that absolutely sing, where it just takes your breath away for a moment and you go, wow, that is fantastic. I didn't grow up in Melbourne, but one of the things I do remember is my son learning to play footy. And this bit of artwork outside the front of the building is inspired by the idea of footy balls spilling outside of bags. So there are lots of sport themed ideas in the building and you can see even in the signage into the building this idea of running tracks. So in order to make the glass visible we need to have glazing film so you can see the glass. But we took that idea a bit further and took it into running tracks. Whenever possible we try to come up with different ideas or interesting takes on uh, things we had to do for the building from compliance points of view and so forth. And you can see here, for example, um, we wanted to have the users want a little bit of privacy into this clinic. Um, and typically we'd put a band of glazing film or not even have glass. And we thought, well, what can we do and have a little bit of fun with it? So we came up with this idea of having this translucent glazing film and then the purple representing a finishing line and then someone running through it. Um, so it meets the user's requirements, compliance requirements, but also has a little bit of fun with this. Another thing you'll notice are the colors and the textures. Um, and I remember the way we actually presented this to the client was we went to a sports shop and borrowed five or 10 pairs of their shoes and used those to present the idea to the university um, because we'd been inspired by the modern materials and the colors and the textures and the performance of modern running shoes and sports shoes um, and use that to sell the idea of these quite rich colors and strong textures within the building. I spoke earlier about how shoes, modern athletic shoes, inspired us uh, in terms of the colors and materials, but it also inspired us in how we actually designed the furniture. So in this seating, you can see the pattern through here replicates how shoes are typically laced up. We actually try to keep the, the color palette quite simple and we used the colors to reference the public areas and then for circulation, especially on the stairs, we use timber. In the signage, we took the idea of actually trying to encourage people to use stairs as a way for, for exercise. And so on the signage itself, we actually included the number of steps that one walk would do if you actually walked all the steps up to the top of the building. And then when you go to the steps themselves, you'll see 
they're actually numbered. So as you go up, you can count the number of steps all the way, I think, up to 82 if you go up all the levels. Here we are walking up the last bit of steps, puffing a little bit now, 81 steps it turns out. And this is the top floor, the fourth floor. And you can see this is a copy of that signage again that I was talking about earlier. And the way the doors to the two entry space have been identified with color. And we'll go into one of those rooms and have a look. So this is the top floor. And as you can see, absolutely massive space. Essentially one very high roofed gym space in a way. But there are a lot of hidden features in here, some which I'll take you through. But one of the challenges was actually to try and make a space like this not feel too gym-like or too unexciting. And so you can see again this theme of running tracks that we took along the walls. And on a lower level, I'll show you how that's actually tied into all the lighting as well. But as I said, in, on this floor, there's some amazing things happening. So this here is a recessed treadmill with sensor plates built into it. And above it, you can see a lighting grid which allows them to put sensors on and actually study what's happening with the human body while they're running. And then back here are these massive lighting grids as well as nets that they can drop. And then in the floor are sensor plates. And these can be used to study body movement when people are kicking the ball or hitting a golf ball or volleyball, netball anything like that with computer stations. And you'll see a uh, floor boxes located throughout the floor to allow for a really flexible setup. And then down the side of the building is this run long, run, long running track, again with sensors embedded in some of the lanes. So they can actually study body movement as people are running down the track. Uh, I spoke earlier about trying to make these gym and exercise spaces visually engaging and not just big, vast, empty spaces. And you can have a look here on the walls, continuing this theme of the running track, but also the way we designed the lights of how that integrates and continues the theme. So the design of the outside of the building was very much informed by the idea of movement. Um, you know, we were inspired by quite a wide range of things. Um, weird things, you might say. Things like spaceships, hyperjumping. You know, like you see, you might see in Star Wars, um, a runner crouching at the start of a 100 meter, 100 meter event. Um, design of vehicles. Really wanted to instill a sense of movement in the building. One of the design ideas that was really important for this building was that it became an integral part of the campus. Um, that it wasn't just a standalone building. Um, and building on the theme of sports and movement, we came up with this idea of creating a virtual running track through the campus and that the sports science building would be the start and the end point of this running track. And that idea really helped us build on the, the design themes through the building. And I'm just gonna do a, a quick walk through the ground floor of the building that I think best expresses that idea of the virtual running track. So this is as you approach the building from the main part of the campus. Um, you get a sense of the scale of the building and my comments earlier about the alien feel of it and how I felt that actually meant we'd actually nailed the brief. But if you start looking at the landscaping that was done around it, this idea of creating a track in the design of the landscape, and you can see how we designed the hard landscaping with these lines that start, these leading lines that start leading you to the entry of the building. And these are really the first visible sign of the idea of a track running through the building. And they take you to the front door. And as you go through the front door, you'll see they continue through and into the atrium space. And as we walk through, you can see these running tracks continue. Get a sense of the space as we come through. But these running tracks continue and encourage you to, in a way, actually walk through the building. 
So if you're on your way to somewhere else on the campus, you're encouraged to actually walk through the building rather than skirt it. And you'll see these, as we go through the building again, these tracks extend again into the paving outside the building. And that's where I'm going to end it. I hope you uh, enjoyed that quick tour showing some of the ideas of the building. And I'm going to head off to my next adventure in my Jeep parked over there. Thanks for watching.